Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Fed where I'm playing Final Fantasy IV. Last episode we decided to check out the Lunar Ruins and I was like, eh, everything is hard and I just got wrecked by it. Like, I managed to do the trial for uh, Rydia, but I didn't manage to do any of the other any of the other trials. I also noticed that I can switch high party members, which the game told me before, but I actually need to do that for certain trials. So I decided to go back over to Mysidia after a grind session, because as you can quite clearly see, I leveled up quite a lot. <laughs> this is a... Uh, don't mind the playtime, because I did like a three hour grind fest, but then with sped up, like with speeding up. And speeding up, well yeah, the game timer speeds up also, so yeah, it took took me about three hours or something of grinding in the first floor of uh, the Bahamut cave on the moon. Those enemies really weren't too bad. It's the mages, or like the sage enemies, and sometimes the giant robots, and sometimes the warrior women. Speaking of which, I also got, because I fought a lot of those, I got a couple of, what's it called? Um, I don't remember the name, but some kind of an item, uh, which could increase my, um, what's it called? Which can increase my MP, so I get I gave a couple of them to some people in the party. I also got a metric buttload of Artemis arrows from those enemies. I got a couple of ribbons. I got a quite a lot of Minerva plates. I'm gonna hold on to these ones to give them to the other party members when I'm gonna use them. But when I went to Mercedia to go and check out, but some kind of an item uh, which could increase my um, then I decided to uh, well I'm sorry. I decided to get out of that place because I was okay. I'm gonna go back over to the moon and let's freaking do this shit. And then, uh, <clears throat> then some person I didn't well, yeah, I was, I was my laptop wasn't hooked onto my uh, recording setup, so it just happened and I was in the mood to just go out of my way to <laughs> hook everything up and then start recording. The moment there, um, so there was a person who ran again and she was like, "There are dark clouds over Mount Ordeals," and then the sage like. Cecil, are you ready for another challenge? And then I'm like, okay, let's go and check this out first before we go to the Lunar Ruins. Mount Ordeal's entryway. Now I do need to refrain from using the speed up button, because... Uh, I've been using it a lot. Well done. Go and check out what happened over there. Let's go and run away from these dumb enemies. <clears throat> Let's see. Huh? Step inside if you wish to test yourself. I don't want to test myself, I just want upgrades. <laughs> I want to be overpowered! Alright, let's see. King Nagas. <laughs> oh yeah, the grinding, as you can see. Oh man, everything's gonna be easy. And I like it. I don't wanna struggle too hard. I don't care too much about the bosses being at least a little bit difficult. That's fun. But having to deal with like shitty enemies constantly, no. I don't care. Yellow Dragon. Let's see. How beefy are you? You counter with lightning. Which does... Holy crap, does a lot of damage to me. Whoa. Okay, those things are... Oh yeah, they drop 5,600 XP, so... I'm not invincible. <laughs> I'm definitely not in invincible. I'm strong, but I'm not invincible, so... Gotta keep that in mind. A rut jacket. Let's see. Um... Huh. That is an equipment piece, right? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. I guess this is only given to certain party members or something. Oh well, so be it then. <clears throat> Working Nagas, preemptive strike. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. A critical hit for 6,000 damage. Oh yeah. Now I might actually have a chance against uh, Lunar Odin. And Lunar Azura. Belphegor. I haven't seen you before. And you're dead. <laughs> cool. Alright. 
and another encounter. And for some kind of a reason, I'm not sure if this was before I record, or like before I did the grinding, but Rydia is really behind on levels compared to the rest, for some kind of reason. I'm not sure if she actually needs more XP to... Uh, oh, no, she doesn't need more XP, I also checked that, so it's kind of weird. Alright, what can you do to my... You can do a lot of damage. And then you die! Hey, Summoner! You are pretty dang weak, so you will die. Oh my god, you didn't die. No, you didn't. Hmm. No secrets in here? That's peculiar. It's... It's an evil bat armada. You know, as much as I enjoy this game, I'm actually really looking forward to finishing the game. I don't know, man. 100% thing just feels good, in my opinion. Especially after the amount of effort you had to put in. I'm just gonna run away. None of the, like, actually, almost none of the battles that I'm gonna fight are gonna be worth it when it comes to XP. Because I'm already <laughs> pretty dang powerful. Things like those yellow dragons might still be worth it, but... Mm, summoners also, I think. I'm not sure. Nope. Summoners are not worth it. They need to drop at least, like... 6,000k or something. Uh, 6,000k? No. 6k XP or something. Well, somewhere in the thousands, in any case. <coughs> uh, Phoenix down. I still have a buttload of those. So yeah, now you'll be able to see a video of Final Fantasy where it's not, where it's not constantly battling. Yay! I tell you that that is something pretty dang nice too, because I think uh, like if I'm looking at a let's play of an RPG game. I know that there's a lot of battling in it, but at the same time, I also think like, eh, not every battle needs to be shown. Once again, I can't equip this. This might be something for. Um, I think that I think that these things might be for the the twin mages. One match. Uh, uh, the majesty of being overpowered. I love it. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm clearing my throat every now and then, but I don't know what's going on, but I have some issues with my throat. Evil dreamers. I think that these are enemies that we've already seen before. Uh, going up. A funny mask. Once again, <coughs> freaking nothing. Also, the amount of MP <laughs> that Rydia and Rosa have is fucking insane. Also, like, Cecil also has a pretty decent amount of MP right now. He can do quite a lot of stuff with it. That's really nice. I'm wondering what it's gonna be when I'm gonna fight the Lunar 
the lunar bosses again. I'm very interested to see because that's the reason why I decided to go and grind because otherwise I wouldn't be able to beat them. The red cap. It's probably gonna be the same, isn't it? I think that these are yeah, these have to be for the mages. Palom and Porum. Missings. Resisting Inspire, Mass Prevents Paralysis. And Torai Sting. It's kinda useless to me. A cottage. I also have a buttload of money which I can't really do much with. And the thing is I don't wanna I don't wanna just go on a chop uh, on a chopping chopping, I yeah, know. On the shopping uh whim or whatever to go and get like a buttload of, of elixirs or whatever. I don't wanna do that because I wanna be careful with my money because you, you never know when you might find something really really good and you can't buy it. And that's something that pisses me off when that happens. You know what, it would make a buttload of sense if uh, uh, Palom and Porum were supposed to go, like the items that I find in here are for them. Because uh, the Cave of Ordeals, when we first did it, or the Mountain of Ordeals, I'm sorry, when we first did this mountain we had Palom and Parum, or Parum, sorry. <coughs> Eventually also Tella, I think, and we got Siren. Is that an item, Siren? Yeah. Okay. Alright. And again. <coughs> Wait, isn't Siren like an, a stat boosting item? No, alarm that calls monsters. Okay. Alright, no problem. Or, you know what? I haven't fought these things before. I've seen them, but I haven't fought them. There you go. Now during the beast here. A Gaia drum. What be that, mid AD? Do with the same effect as Earthquake? Huh. Whoops. Uh. Oh, Pegasus is Dungeon. <laughs> well, it's not that it, it, ma it doesn't matter, really. It doesn't matter too much, really. Because. I ain't running out of health soon, or MP. I can last for a while right now. I'm wondering if they put stuff like this in Final Fantasy V and stuff. And six maybe. Even though I'm not still unsure on what I'm gonna actually play for six. Could play it on Super Nintendo, even though it's probably gonna be kinda weird. I don't know. I'll have to see. I am still a fan of the Super Nintendo, it's just a lot of... Yeah, it's just a lot of, like I said before, it's just quality of life changes in uh, the, the Game Boy Advance versions. And I like quality of life, life changes. Especially because I'm not used to the old Final Fantasy. Sage's robes. That's Shade... Shage? Sage stuff, so that's definitely for them. Right, can I go up here? No. Arachne! Back attack! I could have probably done this place first, and then I've done the other place. And then I've gone over to the lunar thing. But I didn't, I had no idea if this was even here, so... Yeah. I have to, I'd have to return back over to Mycidia for the, to be able to learn about this. Lord's Robe. Nope. <laughs> but hey, what did you expect? <clears throat> Basement 6. Warriors and mini-satans. Well, they're probably gonna be pretty dang pathetic for me, but still. 
those are not particularly easy enemies. I'm interested to see how difficult this game gets. I knew it. I saw the light change. A grand home. Fuck. Of course this would happen. What did I expect? Really? Um, hmm. Let's get rid of... I guess the ice hairs. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna go when I'm back. At, well, when I'm, when I'm, I'm sorry, when I'm done with this cave, I'm gonna go back to the city. I'm gonna switch out party members and equip the stuff that they need and get rid of the old stuff. <clears throat> Just to clean up my inventory before I go back into the lunar shit cave. I'm, very, I'm still very interested to see if all this grinding is going to be worth it when I go back into that stupid cave. I'm wondering if that attack from uh, Lunar Odin is still going to do like 5000 damage or not. I'm very interested to see if it's just going to do 5000 damage no matter what or if it's going to do a lot less because I'm stronger now. I don't know. I do know that according to the wiki, that guy is level 99. That's the reason why I decided to level myself up to level 90. Just to be able to be strong enough. And I, I noticed, like, I think up until level 80, I think, the grinding was going pretty dang fast, but from the moment that I went beyond 80, the grinding started to slow down by a lot, so... That's also the reason why I stopped, because... I really like it when it moves forward, but when it starts to slow down, it gets really... Well, it just gets tough. Uh, let me just go and kill you. I should have used a normal gear, but... Uh, she has more than enough MP anyway. Um, I was hoping that this was going to be the final room. That's actually why I healed. A Mega Elixir. Now, that's... now that is a handy item. Another Mega Elixir. I'm pretty sure I'm, ga I'm gonna have to fight some kind of a boss at the end of this, right? And if I do, I would love to wreck him. Or her. Oh, boy. Um, they seem like a lot of legendary weapons and probably a lot of bosses to fight with her. Um, don't you dare teleport me out of here. Okay, that's the safe point. Now this is something that I like, actually. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look at my items and I'm gonna throw away stuff that I don't need, because... Yeah. Um... I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna need these rods anymore. Oh yeah, trash. I'm gonna trash you. Trash you. Trash the holy arrows. I guess just all of these normal arrows, really. The Artemis ones are... My god, look at this. <laughs> so much stuff. You know what? I think I'm gonna trash all the rest, because... There's no point holding onto them. And then those ones are still very, very important, I think. So, yeah. Alright, I saved. Got rid of some things. I wish to test one who gives power by the melody of the song. You are forbidden to enter. Fuck! No! Come on, game! Why do you do this to me? I wish to test the one with exceptional uh, skill as a black mage. You are forbidden to enter. As a black mage? Hmm. Skill as a white mage. You are forbidden to enter. I gave life to the with, with metallic wings. Minor strength of a monk. Um, wait. As a black mage, so that's for. Wait, this this is definitely for Edward. That's definitely for Yang. This might be for Sid. This. Oh, it could be that I need. It could be that I need everybody except the ones that I have in my team right now. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you kidding me? That is so dumb. That's the dumbest fucking shit. Wait, are these five people? One, two, three, four. That's five, yeah. 
Am I even gonna... Hmm. Alright then. You may warp out of the dungeon. Do you wanna warp out? Yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to warp out. I'm gonna speed this up because of... Uh... I'll go back to Mycidia. See if I can change the entirety of this party and then... I guess I'll see you guys back in that one room. This time with an entirely different party that I'm not used to. Also with not as good weapons. And gear and... Well, the levels are gonna be good, but... Aside from that, I don't think they're gonna be as good as the people that I have now. I could... I'm actually not sure if I can run around without Cecil in the front. We shall see! Alright, back in the city up. I go past the freaking crystal room. Slam open the door. Alright, Yang. Um, okay, Edge can stay. Rosa can stay. Kane can stay. Oh boy. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to do this, by the way. <laughs> uh, Ready, I can stay. And then, last but not least. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Oh no! Game, you're such a fucking. <coughs> you're such a dick. Now let's see. Aha. And a cat hood. <coughs> My god. The red jacket. Um. The ribbon is better. Uh, this is better. The ribbon is still better. I'm wondering actually. I don't have any more ribbons. Courageous stuff. The armlets aren't that good, but. Eh. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the mountain. Alright, fucking finally. Let's go and use one of my many tents. I didn't use any of my magic, so... There you go. Uh, let's also go and save, because... You never know what horrors may await me. <laughs> Alright. To approach me, you must first test your strength and endure the trial. But of course. The Gigas Worm. <clears throat> Whoa! 1000 damage. Okay, it's pretty decent. 500, it's also pretty decent. Light magic. Um, I didn't sort out your spells, so. I also have, I'm sorry, off camera, I also got uh, Meteor and Flare, and also the Holy spell, I think. Uh, it's going to use Flare. <laughs> That's what I like to call a lot of damage. Man, Edward is pretty freaking defensive. I still love this music, and I will forever love this music. Uh, let's go and use Flare again, because it does 9999 9, damage. I'm interested to see how much freaking health this douchebag has. Probably a lot more than he should have.
Freaking Porum is doing a pretty goddamn good job, actually. Yeah, she heals like a thousand. Wow. <laughs> is she better than... Oh boy, is she better than uh, freaking Rosa? I don't think so. I don't think that she's better than Rosa. I don't know, of course. There we go. Cool. Obtained Apollo's Harp. That's cool. Okay, let's go and uh, take a Gandor. Remove. Oh yeah. Wait, does this do anything special? Harp immersed in the power of the sun. Okay. Uh, how is everybody looking, actually? Uh, let me go and use Kyura on Yang. <laughs> Cecil still sucks at healing. Alright, cool. Next. To approach me, you must first uh, you must first test your strength and endure the trial. Don't press the fast forward button, Fred. <laughs> Master Flan. Um, wait, can I? Okay, how much defense? Hmm? How about we attack? Wait, is there just no way to? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> put the sleepy, yes. Okay. The thing is, he does have reflect right now, so I think it might be a good idea to just attack him one by one, I guess. As much as I dislike doing it, I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna have to do. Holy, he uses a decent amount of MP, but meh. That's one that <laughs> punches the guy in the face. Master Flan, that's his name, eh? <clears throat> yeah. Dundaga on himself, reflected, means more damage, I guess. Actually. I'm not sure if that's an extra thing, because otherwise I might you might want to use it myself. Sometime. Uh, let's go and use some of that beam magic. And Bizarre the bugger. Uh, don't try to use magic on the guy in the middle. <clears throat> Reef. Mm. Ah, yes. That's the kind of freaking enemy you're gonna be, eh? Okay, so I guess you keep one of those plans alive. That's the important thing. Yeah, I can't do anything. Oh man, that's annoying. The only one that can uh, attack these plants is Cecil. Or an unknown. Actually, no. He can't. <laughs> How about you heal yourself for a sec? Sing. Um, on the flan, I guess. Okay. Let's go and use. You know what? I'm really thinking about just using a Blizzaga. I know it's gonna get it reflected, but I don't think it's gonna do that much damage anyway. <clears throat> but for some kind of reason, I can't attack him when he's surrounded by these bastards. Let's see. 900, that's a pretty decent amount. Ah, I just made a mistake again. You know what I noticed? I absolutely hate bosses that use freaking reflect. I'm sorry, not even bosses, just enemies that use reflect are the worst fucking things in existence. They suck. They just freaking suck. They're really annoying to fight. Alright, let's go and uh, use a holy on him. And let's start attacking the guy in the middle and ignore one of the, uh, one of the other flans because Otherwise, or the mouses, I'm sorry. The mice. Mouses. They can't really do much. 
Not against this enemy in any case. Well, I can hit him with your cane if I want to. There's some damage, I guess. And Naga. Uh, that's a decent amount of freaking damage. Might want to heal that up. No, oh, he's dead. Seriously, <laughs> could, could get a crit. That'd be nice. Well, I'm gonna be hitting him with fire anyway, so... <clears throat> Not sure if that's actually gonna kill him. Bizarre, then. Give me my ultimate weapon, please. There you go. Yay! I win. And I get a potion. Uh, obtained Triton's Dagger. Huh. Interesting. Well, yeah, he's, yeah, he's technically a black mage, so... He can equip... Um, those things. Is he left-handed? He's left-handed, yeah. Triton's Dagger. Short sword with the power of water. Resource Volley. Uh, how is the MP looking? I guess everything should still be fine. Wait, let me go and take a good look at the HP before I continue. I don't want to re be responsible for... Well, I just don't want to die and lose my progress of two boss battles. That'd just be dumb. <laughs> right, to approach me, you must first test your strength and endure the trial. Yay, more trials, more bosses, more shit. A T-Rex, eh? Okay. Let's see, he missed. Nicely done. Um, let's go and hit him with a holy spell. And then hit him with... Flare. Uh, man, he casts so freaking fast. Or it's just Flare, I don't know. Thing I do know is that there's a metric buttload of damage. Here comes holy. My god. You know what? I was wrong last episode. Or a couple of, of one of the later episodes. Or one of the episodes before this. This is Final Fantasy. Being over leveled and using the biggest freaking shit on any on an enemy that you can. Now I well I just like the game when it's not too difficult. Well I don't know man, it's it's weird with me. It's really weird with me. Earthquake, that should not one shot that should do a decent amount of damage. Let's just continue attacking. But yeah, I didn't even know about this cave until now, so yeah. Seraphim's Maze. Cool. Staff with power of healing. Cool. Okay. Uh, that is the one for... Um, that's the one for the other guy. Yeah, sure. The other guy that we all forget about. No, I'm freaking sick. <clears throat> that is uh, Sid's ultimate weapon, I'm pretty sure. Alright. To approach me, you must first test your strength and endure the trial! Rawr. Storm Dragon! That's a nice Durgan you got there. Punch him! Cut him. Hit him with flare. Hit him with holy. Holy should still do some damage. But Yo, that's him dead. <laughs> Alright. Obtain the hand of the gods.
Bar immersed in holy power. <laughs> Doesn't increase attack damage because he's a freaking mine. Now let's go and take a look just to be sure. No, oh, okay. Alright, let's go and, uh, yeah, let's go and get freaking Sid in this room. I'll meet you guys when I'm done. Sid, time to go and retrieve your, uh, I guess, ultimate weapon. Let's endure this final trial in this cave, in any case. Hello, Death Mech. You look very interesting, I'd say. I hate your face, by the way. Because uh, that face is the face of using Reflect. That's the thing that actually usually kills me. Uh, so he's holy. Probably should use jump. Oh, well. This looks like an enemy that would self-destruct at the end. Oh, I used Meteor. Oh, I thought I used Flare. Okay, Meteor is also good. There you go! He didn't even get the chance to do anything. Obtained Thor's hammer. Cool. That didn't really look like a hammer that was laying there, but no well. Especially not Thor's hammer. There we go, hammer that holds the power of lightning! You can actually use it as an item and use like do a lightning attack on enemies, which is really freaking cool. Before we get the hell out of here, I wanna take a look. Did I like are there any secrets or something? If they are, if they are, <laughs> if there were, I, I'm not gonna come back for them. All right, screw it. I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Fast forward. Just fuck this cutscene. All right, I'm getting the hell out of here, and uh, that's gonna be an episode. I wasn't sure what to expect of this place, and yeah, it's has it has turned into a full episode. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Fit, where I played Final Fantasy IV. And next episode, we are gonna go and uh, we're gonna go back to the Lunar Ruins. And have ourselves some fun, I guess. Yeah, fun. <laughs> oh, I am having fun though. It's not like. It's not like. It's not like. Blah, blah, blah. It's not like I'm not enjoying the game right now. It's just like. Actually, I'm enjoying it a lot more now that I'm overpowered. But at the same time, I'm like overpowered, so. Meh. There isn't a lot. There isn't a lot left that's gonna challenge me. Even though I'm pretty dang sure the bosses, that the lunar bosses are gonna wreck me again. Alright, Sid, get replaced by Edge, and we are gonna go to the moon next episode. Goodbye!